Fight number five is an elimination 141 pound boxing bat. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, please make welcome Alvaro Huzier. Next bout, which is a 140 pound bout. Mr. Huizer is making his way to the ring right now as the elder at 25 years old versus 18 against his opponent, Mr. Soriano. Close in height with Huizer having a one inch height advantage and 40 and 10 for Soriano. I'm not sure if that's correct versus a three and one fighter. And now, fighting out of the Larry H. Miller Nissan 104th Blue Corner, please make welcome Angel Soriano. Number five of the evening is presented by Ox Distributing. It's now time to meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner from Denver, Colorado, representing Bring It Back Boxing. Please make welcome Alvaro Huizar. And now, fighting out of the Larry H. Miller Nissan 104th Blue Corner from Richmond, California, representing a family affair boxing. Please make welcome Angel Soriano. This elimination 141 pound bout is scheduled for three three minute rounds. Referee is Stephen Blea. Okay, fellas, we went over all the rules. This is the foul line. I don't see anything here. This is here, nothing below and nothing behind. Any questions? Let's touch them up and take care of business. Let's go. Colorado versus California as Mr. Hizer wearing the yellow trunks representing Bring It Back Boxing. Faces off against Mr. Soriano. Mr. Soriano in the red, white, and green trunks representing a family affair boxing. 140 pound fighters, let's expect some speed, some conditioning here. Our thanks to Ox Distributing for sponsoring fight number five this evening. Call it probing strikes to start things out here. Now they mix it up with a little more authority, but Trying to get a read on one another. Oh, 
Soriano seems to have really good vision of his opponent's punches coming. Corner of Soriano saying they want him to use his hands fast. Yeah, nice job by Soriano, throwing punches on his way backing out. Landed nicely, did the left hand, and then Soriano putting together a prolonged combination. Bizarre doesn't seem to be heard from it, but Soriano good early in round number one. Bump of heads there. Both fighters acknowledge it. The referee notes that he saw it as well, tells him to keep it up. Keep the heads up, that is. Soriano with a little slick move off the ropes there, circles his way out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Couple of seconds left here, and Soriano able to land as the bell rings. Airtight Boxing in Sparta Combat League is presented by Larry H. Miller Nissan 104. Soriano asked by his corner to throw fast punches and he does exactly that. Mixes in a couple of power shots as well. And there's that nice shot as he was backing out. Floriano and who was there on the receiving end of just some really nice technique from Soriano. Who's there gonna try to pressure forward a little bit more in round number two, I think. See if he can't turn this into a little bit more of a brawl style fight. Soriano seems to have a little bit of speed advantage and Soriano working nicely with uh, having a read on his opponent's punches. So let's see if Huzar tries to rough him up a little bit here in the second. And it's Huzar that lands nicely. Early in the second round. Oh, and again Huzar comes with the left, finishes with the right. Referee steps in and says, you cannot push your opponent away like that. Can't push him down. Corner of Soriano now calling for body work. Let's see if he hears and listens, and he does. Well, I talked about Round one, how impressed I was with Soriano having a read on his opponent. And coming out in round number two, it's his air that seems to be reading his opponent on almost every shot that he throws. Soriano tying up, pressing down on the head. Garners a warning from referee Stephen Blea. Hazare doing nice work here in round two, especially with that right hand. It came through again for him. Now the jab for Hazare. And Hazare starting to feel it here. Just, uh, just over 10 seconds left in the second round. to say pretty uh, pretty solidly I have this fight scored even a 1-1. One, one. Round three is presented by Old Glory Energy Drink. See who listens to the corner and what corner comes up with which plan here for round number three because like I was saying uh, I think that was pretty even here and uh, as far as each fighter having one round apiece and we're gonna see his airs work here in the second round, and he really had some good right hand work, having solid effect for him. This is where we saw the first push of the fight that the fighters got warned for. And each 
Spider making a good showing in one of the rounds here. So let's see who's able to start to pull it together and really keep things going smooth for themselves in the third. Whistle sounds to get the corner man out. Touch of gloves to start the third. Here we go, two minutes left. About number five this evening, Old Glory Energy Drink sponsoring these guys. We appreciate that, thank you. Old Glory, doing a lot of great work supporting veterans does that company, so we appreciate their sponsorship. And Hazar. Moving his feet forward, getting some power. Corner of Soriano asking for speed, so round three might be a power versus speed round. <laughs> we saw his arm miss with a big looping punch there. Soriano. Once again, good job reading his opponent's punches. Slipping nicely, slipping and ducking. Good showing by both fighters here, and it is a speed versus power round. Czar definitely the one pressuring forward here in the third, but Soriano having nice answers with his countering, with his speed. And that body shot by Hazar, I think, hurt Soriano. And mouthpiece is out. We're gonna have a timeout here for a second. Let the corner men get that back into place. And each of these guys gonna have just under 30 seconds to work. Like I said, I think this is the telltale round. Who puts it together here at the end? Nice job by Hazar there, listening to the referee. Called for a break. Hazar was in the mid punch and he stopped it. Great sportsmanship. Both guys heard the 10 second clacker and toe to toe they go. Hazar able to snap back the head of Soriano. And fighters didn't hear the bell, but. Referee separates them. Congratulations on a great end to that third round. Crowd letting these guys know they approve of what they saw. And I don't think there was any bad intentions on those punches that went after the bell. I think honestly just the fighters didn't hear it. scorecards gathered, get those columns and numbers added. Somebody's gonna get to spend a little time being interviewed by Miss Bailey Winters. And here we see it right after the end of the fight. Or excuse me, coming up on the end of the fight. Both guys really flurrying hard. Boy, that's what every coach begs for is hear that 10 second clacker. Be willing to plant your feet and stand there and throw, and both those guys did exactly that. And we see Mr. Blea letting Soriano know, hey, that was uh, that was pretty significantly after the bell. But again, I think maybe he didn't hear it because the crowd was really getting into it there. Patrick has the decision in his hands. Let him make the climb into the ring and then we'll take it over to Bailey Winters to interview the winner. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored about 29-28, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Angel Soriano! Congratulations to a family affair fighter, Mr. Soriano. Back with a post-fight interview in just a moment. I'm back here now 
down. Angel Soriano, who just won his fight. Angel, round one, you're moving your head beautifully. You're moving. You're moving your head beautifully. He was having a hard time finding you. Second round, he started landing a few punches. That third round, you guys really turned it up. How do you feel about your performance tonight? I feel like I did good. You know, it was even, I'm not going to lie. You know, I'm not going to say just say all false information. But I felt like it was pretty even, to be honest with you. You know, I felt like I just won the last round and the first round. The middle round was even, you know, the second round was even. But at the end of the day, what the judges saw is what matters, you know? And I mean, I want to thank everybody that's booing, all the haters, everybody that wants to be mad because he lost. Yeah, I mean, keep going. Keep saying boo, keep saying boo. I want to hear all you guys. But yeah, I feel like I did good though, you know? I mean, they just heading on a young 18-year-old, you know? He was like 24. Boxing is boxing, you know? There's always gonna be ups and downs. But you know, this is a learning experience. You're 18 years old, have a lot of experience. 51 fights now, as of tonight. Um, do you plan on turning pro anytime soon? Yeah, I'm planning on doing one more uh, semi-pro fight, and then after that, you know, getting ready to turn pro. It's just more like for experience. You know, everybody that's saying boo, it's experience, you know? At the end of the day, that's good though, you know, it's gonna help my mindset get stronger, but that's what I came here for, you know, it's to fight, you know, boxing is boxing. You fought a great fight tonight. Everyone in the crowd was on their feet by the end of that third round. Anyone you wanna thank after that? Yeah, I wanna thank my girlfriend right here, she's running for I wanna thank all the coaches, you know, they're the main ones, they got me here, you know, cause of them, I wanna thank them. I wanna thank Steve for finding me to fight, you know. I wanna thank the fighter, he did a good job too, you know. It was a little rough fight, you know, he came out here pretty rough and, you know, all dirty. And, I mean, I want to thank the people that are supporting, too, everybody that came out to come see me fight. Everybody in that same boo, too. I mean, I want you guys to keep saying boo, too. If I walk away, I want to hear more boos. You know, it helps me get better, my mindset get better. You fought beautifully tonight. You should definitely be proud of yourself for that win. Great job. Congratulations.